Hi friends, welcome to Little Woods Art. Today I thought we would use our watercolor and a straw and some Q-tips and a white crayon and some markers and make some colorful decorative Easter eggs. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna need to do is cut out some Easter egg shapes on paper. If you have watercolor paper, construction paper, that's great. Otherwise, just use copy paper. And the first technique I wanna show you how to do is you take some watercolor and you wanna get them really nice and wet. So I'm just gonna put some watercolor in each, or some water, sorry, in each color. Although I'm probably not gonna use my black and my brown. And then you take your brush and you wanna have it nice and wet and you wanna tap, tap, tap. Okay. So tap some different colors on there. I'm gonna tap some blue and some orange. And then what you do is you take a straw and then you just blow onto those little droplets. I'm gonna raise this up so you can see it a little better. Okay, and it'll just start spreading them out and you will have an egg that looks like this when you're done. So that's one technique that you can do. The next technique, which is very easy and fun, especially for little kids, is take your finger, get it wet, and you're gonna put it in directly into the paint. I'll put this over here so you can see it. And then you just paint with your fingers. You can make any kind of design you want. But this is really fun to do. Okay. And if you use that technique, you can make something that looks like that. Great, so now I'm gonna show you another technique that's really fun. This one. This one is markers mixed with watercolors. So take any color markers that you have and you can make any kind of pattern. You can make stripes, you can make circles, anything you want. And I think these will work best with the washable markers. Okay, and then just take your watercolor and just paint on top of your marker. That'll give you some nice effects. It'll start to blend together. Okay. And you know, you could be as creative as you want. You could paint names in there, or anything you want. Okay, and at the end, when it dries, it'll mix together like that. So that's another technique. And then my final technique that I really think is fun, let's get a piece of paper here, is with the white crayon. And with the white crayon, you can create any kind of design that you would like. You can even write words. All right, so let's just make a flower. You're not even gonna be able to see it because I don't even think I can see this very well. So you have to kind of remember where you've drawn. And put some flowers in there. You could put some leaves in there. You could write someone's name, anything you want. And then take your watercolor and you just paint on top. Isn't that neat? Now, if you want to use different watercolors, you could kind of let them run together. And they kind of blend together. You can see what colors that the that they make. And then when you're done with all these eggs, you can either hang them up on the window or let them dry and then write a note on them and mail them to somebody that you love. 
I hope you had fun today. Get those watercolors and get started.